Hey guys, here with Andre at D&D Reptiles. This is going to be my first vid just on my whole reptile um, setup, like all my stuff. Um, I did have a channel before, it was just my name and just to have a channel and I started acquiring reptiles a lot and getting into them so I had a lot of videos but then I got rid of that channel and now it's turned into this. Um, I have a lot of breeding plans for, um, uh, like my geckos, right down there, and I don't know where my other female is, I'll show you guys here in a minute, but I have two females, and I need a male, and then after that, I'll be breeding my male pastel ball python, um, with probably a pinstripe or a spider, maybe get some bumblebees or some, you know, good stuff like that. Um, and I have an Anne corn, which she's under her newspaper, and um, you can see her out by now. She's a big girl, breedable, but yeah, um, man, also I have my bearded dragon, but I believe he's asleep at the moment. Sleeping. But okay, I guess I'll we'll start here. Here's a setup. Got this three story high plant, water dish, lots of rocks. His basking temperature is about like 106 ish, like 105, which is good enough for them. Um, he doesn't always go up there. But sometimes he does, normally he stays right down here, he likes the flat, I guess, but that's just mainly for show, too. Got this, which I can put his greens in, I feed him crickets in it mostly, um, and greens. It's very, some greens, they only eat 80%, uh, like, crickets and stuff like that, and then 20%, um, greens. Okay, um, now moving on to my corn snakes. Um, as you can see, just a simple setup. I got a hide up there. I got a little wood thing, box to hide in, water bowl, and her. She eats, I, um, I believe, adult mice. And um, I'm gonna get her out just because I don't really feel like it right now. My anery corn, which I will get out so you guys can see her. Um, She's nice. Uh, I wish that it was a male, so then we could breed it to our albino, but it is what it is. I'll get another one. Okay. She spilled her water, so it's very humid in here. There she is. Uh, I'll zoom it in a little bit. Yeah, she's a big girl. Oh, I'm sorry. Trying to do this one-handed with my phone. It's not the best and the easiest, but... I mean, as you see... She's gotten way bigger than when we first got her. Um, I think she's eating hoppers. Or... Yeah. She's getting up there in size. But... I don't know if she'll be as big as the other one. We've had her for a while. She eats every other week. I don't know when my dad feeds her when we're gone, but I try to feed her like every other week. Okay, sorry. This is kind of difficult one-handed. Now our ball python, which um, I'm going to set you guys down just a second so I can get him out. Um, he just ate, so I'm not going to hold him, but I'll show you guys him. Um, I cover this up to keep heat in, because he really likes the heat. But, here he is, my first ball python. He's about three and a half foot, three foot, uh, 
It'll be breedable this year if I could, but I don't have a female. But after we get our racks, we're gonna start ordering tubs. My dad is in for it. That's what the channel is called, DND Reptiles. Is, um, his name is Damien, and mine's DeAndre. And um, so yeah, that's we're gonna start breeding and getting stuff going because he wants to really see how it's gonna take. So yeah, I'll put. I'm trying to hurry up this video. I don't want it to be extremely long. Um, set you guys down again. Sorry, guys, um, for that. Um, I was gonna use my camera, but it's dead. I gotta charge the batteries. Um, next is, um, I'll just go over this drawer, um, that's what we got our ball python in, the bag, then we got a deli cup, and extra heat bulb for my bearded dragon, um, in there is just an empty box, just in case I need to put it in, something in there, got plants, random junk, sand which needs to be thrown out, old, calcium, slate rock, Perfect for bearded dragons, in my opinion. And now I guess we'll go down. I got an extra heat lamp, newspaper. Uh, now we'll get the geckos out. Um, I'm gonna set you guys down again. Sorry about this. I'm doing this with the phone. It's not the easiest way. Highly fascinated with the reptiles. Um, so here's my female. Um, I'm not sure what she is. I believe that she's a regular carrot tail. She might just be a. I don't know. She's. I'm not too familiar with the genes. That's why I'm gonna try to get some. See if I can get some answers. And then my other girl. She just shedded today, so she'll look really nice. I think she's pretty and my aunt doesn't like her as much, but she's got a really high yellow on her back. She's a high yellow, by the way, and the orange on the tail, and she's got some lavender going, I like that. This is their setup, got slate, some newspaper, water dish, which is empty, I need to fill, calcium bowl, which they like to poop in for some reason, it's like a litter box, but... Yeah, um, I have a heat pad on them, and it's like right in this general area, so it stays warm in there for them. Um, I could probably have them re live in room temperature, but I probably won't do that. And yeah, I have lots of breeding plans, so we'll see how that goes, and once we start building the rack and everything, we'll get you guys... Okay. But yeah, that's mainly just my rack. Um, I just found this outside. It's in good enough shape. It's got a tiny bit of rust on it, but wiped it down, and it's good to go. <laughs> Works fine to me, and. Yeah, that's it. Um, you could see in the future possibly bumblebee, ball pythons, spiders. Um, I'll probably be selling if I get a bumblebee female. I'll probably keep maybe a male too if whatever I get out of it. But yeah, that's about it. Bye.